Hi guys, welcome back to The Mighty Blues. My name is, of course, Cameron. It is the match reaction. Obviously, not an instant match reaction. I do apologise about that. I was a little bit busy after yesterday's game, so unfortunately, I couldn't do a reaction video. But we are here today to discuss Everton's huge 1-0 win against Burnley at Goodison Park last night. An absolutely massive win for Everton. Our first win since the last time we beat Burnley in December at Turf Moor. And yeah, as I said, an absolutely huge, huge three points for Sean Dyche's Everton side. Not the greatest performance in the world, it has to be said. Uh, not the best display of football. I think for 45 minutes, Everton were absolutely horrific um you know we were working hard we were putting ourselves about we were battling for the ball i think there was a little bit more intensity there yesterday than there was you know in the last couple of games i think there was a little bit more effort it seemed players like dwight mcneil um you know never stopped running around for for sort of 90 minutes and i know people will say oh well that's the least we expect cam you can't be given too much credit for that but when you've watched these players put in performances you know sort of over the last couple of weeks where they haven't really looked like they've been given it 110 percent and they haven't really looked like they've been throwing everything at it um it, it makes you sort of appreciate when they do do that and, and look what happens when we do that we come away with a big three points now listen i'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it i'm not going to sit here uh, and, and try and blag anybody it wasn't a very particularly good performance whatsoever um i think it was too poor sides or certainly two sides incredibly low on confidence and in poor form um hopefully this is the catalyst Everton have needed to go on now and pick up some really really important points in some really really important games let's not forget we've still got a lot of winnable games to play at Goodison Park between now and the end of the season we've got to play Sheffield United we've got to play Brentford we've got to play Forest now okay we have got Liverpool as well and a couple of tricky away games but we've got enough winnable games there at Goodison Park to be able to put performances in pick up the points and hopefully that will see us um, you know, safe in the, in the league this season. We've obviously got a potential other point deduction coming over the coming days or so. I'm sure we'll find out more about that um, in this week. So we'll find out where we stand between now and the end of the season, hopefully over the next sort of seven days, and we'll be able to understand how many points we actually need to pick up. And it, that was a huge three points yesterday, especially when you consider the potential points deduction on the horizon. There's a lot of rumours and stuff on social media at the moment about what it will be. Will it be two points? Will it be three points? Will it be five points? Ultimately, we don't know what it will be but I would be very 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 surprised if Everton weren't to receive another point deduction so on that basis we almost had to win that game yesterday um, especially when you consider Luton coming back from 1-0 down to win 2-1 uh, at Bournemouth I think they scored in the last minute or something to win that game so you know yesterday was 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 as I said it was absolutely impossible for me to comprehend Everton walking away from Goodison Park without the three points and although the performance might not have necessarily been great and although we might not necessarily be sitting here absolutely buzzing talking about what an unbelievable fantastic Everton performance it was it doesn't really matter at this stage in the season it doesn't really matter and you know my biggest criticism for Sean Dyche has not necessarily been about the performances I think Everton have been horrific of late I think to watch Everton has been horrific we've been boring we've been slow we've seemed um, void of any idea we've seemed void of any real plan but at the end of the day it's a results-based business and at this time of the year in the situation Everton are in and the position Everton are in the table you absolutely need to be going out and picking up points regardless of how you perform you need to be going out and picking up points now do I think Sean Dyche's system and style and way of playing suits what I want to see from Everton Football Club absolutely not and I've said this numerous times before, I don't think Sean Dyche should be the Everton manager going forward. But the conversation isn't really about that at the moment. The conversation is about the fact that, A, we've got no choice because of the position the club are in off the field. But B, it's all about winning games of football. And although yesterday might not, not, might not have been a great performance or an unbelievable game of football, and it was, it was a game between two poor sides who struggled to really create anything. And it was almost... 
Um, I, you know, it made sense really that the game was settled on a bit of a fluky, you know, once in a in a million time goal that like you probably won't see again for another five or ten years. So uh, it wasn't a good performance whatsoever. I, I don't think I think we were better than we have been. But that doesn't necessarily mean we were great. And, and I think a lot of that comes from, I think the players just give a little bit more. I think the players reacted to the crowd. The crowd obviously were lifted hugely when that goal went in because we know, you know, the the, the uh, records state that if Everton go 1-0 down in a game under Sean Dice, we don't come back in those games. So the first goal is absolutely huge in every game we play now. And when we score the first goal, we've got a relatively decent record of holding on um, and at least getting something out the game and, and, and you know, um, more often than not getting three points out of it. And that was exactly what we did yesterday. And like I said, I didn't walk away from the game thinking, oh my God, we were absolutely terrible because that for me is a standard at the moment. I walk away from every Everton game not particularly entertained and not particularly buzzing about the performance or, you know, excited about the future. But typically, I'm walking away from every Everton game absolutely wounded that we've lost. Whereas today, uh, sorry, last night, I was able to walk away absolutely buzzing that we'd won. Um, and I do think we are in that position in in the table and in the in the season where performance is a secondary and results are a paramount. And you know, if if Everton perform like that for every game between now and the end of the season, but win every game between now and the end of the season, I'd be absolutely over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. And as much as I didn't want to come on here and be negative and be this, that and the other, I can't come on here and sort of sugarcoat it. I can't come on here and say we were absolutely brilliant yesterday. It was unbelievable, amazing Everton the back because it wasn't it wasn't like that whatsoever. It it was another not very good game of football between two quite poor sides who were in poor form. However, I don't really care about all of that, I'll be honest. I care about the results. And, and I'm the same every week. Uh, every week. We can discuss the performance and we can discuss the negatives of the performance and what needs to change on the basis that we're not winning games of football, which is exactly what we've done <clears throat> over the last few weeks and months. We've been able to talk about what's going wrong on the pitch because it's not ultimately ending in three points. Yesterday... As I said, it wasn't great, but it ended in three points and that was all that mattered. And trust me, Everton hadn't won a game of football since December. That was our first win in four months, our first win since we last beat Burnley in the Premier League at Turf Moor. I didn't care how we won. I didn't care about the fact that it was a fluky goal just on you know, on, on the cusp of half-time. I didn't care about the fact that we weren't particularly great and we didn't particularly create you know, a lot of chances. Yes, that is a problem going forward, but that's been a problem for a long, long time. The ultimate aim at the moment is to go on that pitch and get three points, and that's exactly what we did. And as soon as that final whistle went, there was nothing you could have said that would have ruined my mood. I completely understand it wasn't a great performance, but you know when you've not seen your football club win in four months, for me, I was just that was purely all I was focused on. We've won the game. That's all that matters. We've won the game. Doesn't matter if it was by a fluke. Doesn't matter if it wasn't a great performance again. Doesn't matter. We've won the game of football. Um. And yeah, that, that, that ultimately is the most important thing. Um, I thought Dwight McNeil had his best game for a while in an Everton shirt. Now, yes, again, not hugely impactful in terms of quality or in terms of chance creation or in terms of ability on the ball. However, his effort, his work rate, his determination was um, was absolutely top yesterday. And I know some people will say, well, that's the bare minimum we expect. And you can't be giving players credit for that and this, that and the other. But at the end of the day, when we've not been seeing that, to then see that is 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 deserving for me of, 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 of applause because we see when players give that little bit more and have a go and get at players and put pressure on the ball and chase players down. It lifts everybody. It lifts the rest of the team. It lifts the crowd and therefore it lifts the performance. Uh, I thought Dom was very good again yesterday. Very, very good. I mean, his goal is an absolute fluke. Let's have it right. But he had to be in that area. He had to be in that area at that time to throw his foot up and, um, you know, and, and to get that little bit of luck. And one thing I will say is, Everything that's gone on this season with, with Everton Football Club, a lot of it has been through the fault of those at Everton Football Club, whether it be through the fault of the previous board, whether it be through the fault of the owner, whether it be through the fault of the manager, whether it be through the fault of the players. A lot that is going wrong at this football club at the moment is through the fault of whoever it is responsible for it. 
But what I will also say is we are the unluckiest football club to have ever graced the planet. And very, very, very rarely do ever and ever get any luck in a game of football. More often than not, the luck's going against us on top of everything else that's going on. We got that little bit of luck yesterday. Um, but Dom had to force it. Dom had to force it by chasing the goalkeeper down. Dom had to force it by throwing his leg up, thinking, do you know what, on the off chance that this might deflect back into the goal, I'm going to do it. And he did, and he he got fortunate, but who cares? I couldn't give a shit if you'd have said to me yesterday at you know one o'clock in the afternoon when I was on the way to the to the match or I was sitting at Goodison Park, you know, we were going to win this game by a fluke Dominic Calvert-Lewin goal that flicks over the keeper. I'd have snatched your hand off for it. I'd have absolutely snatched your hand off for it. And I know every single person watching this video would have done the same. Who cares if we scored a fluke goal to win the game? We've not won a game of football in fucking four months. I don't care if it comes off somebody's ass. As long as we win the game, that's all that matters. And that was very much how I felt yesterday. Um, brilliant for Dom. Two goals in two. Could have had another one as well. Lovely bit of play. Lovely bit of play. Takes his man on. Knocks it under him. And unfortunately... Just a little bit too close to the goalkeeper who saves it with his feet. But that would have been an absolutely astonishing goal. And I think Dom was much better yesterday. And much more involved. Seemed much more confident and seemed much more comfortable within his play. Um, and I think that goal against Newcastle, that penalty, will have done in the world a good. And I think scoring again yesterday, even though it mightn't have been a particularly great goal. Sometimes when you're on a bad run of form as a striker, all you need is a, a penalty and a little bit of a fluke to you know kick yourself up again and get yourself started. And hopefully... That is the um that's the case for for, for Dominic Calvert Lewin. Uh, I thought Jared Brantwaite was absolutely outstanding again. Absolutely outstanding. What a performance, what a player. One hundred and fifty million pound at the absolute minimum to take that lad off our hands because he is absolutely outstanding every single week he puts performance in after performance after performance and he was unbelievable again yesterday absolutely unbelievable um yeah and we've come away with 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 a huge huge three points uh and that's all we can ask for isn't it that's all we could have could have asked for that's all we would have wanted going into it um yes it would have been nice to see us turn up and win four to five nil in a lovely exciting manner but we're just not going to do that under this manager. I'm sorry, but we're just not going to do that under this manager. So to come away with three points is huge. Uh, and hopefully we can build on that. Now, I said after the Newcastle game, if we win on Saturday, that's four points out of two games, which is massive considering where we've been for the last three months. So we've got to take the positives. We've got to look forward and we've got to move on. Now, one thing I do just want to say before I leave, had the opportunity of um, being in the hospitality yesterday. Thanks to, uh, well, firstly, Matty, Ned, as you might know him. Big, big thanks to Matty. Matty and a big, big thanks to Alan um, and his missus as well. A uh, huge, huge, huge thank you to all of them. I had a brilliant day, fantastic day, not only because of Everton won, but the day in itself was, was really good as well. But yeah, topped off ultimately by a huge, huge three points. So um, massive win, massive, massive win. Hopefully we can build on that now. Got a difficult game at the weekend, but huge, huge win. Um, and yeah, if you've enjoyed it, Please do leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. That would mean a huge, huge amount to me. We'll be back in the week with the podcast to talk about this in greater depth. So look forward to that. Enjoy whatever you're doing for the rest of your Sunday. Big thanks for watching and we'll see you after.